Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. You want to see something sexy as far as padlocks go? That would be that bad boy. So, uh, full lever Jackson old fashioned padlock. And we have more to show you here. So I'll, I'll just take you through one by one and show you one by one. So this one here is a four lever lock. They come with little short stubby keys like this. And you simply put the key in, you turn it. Turn it. Will we go this way? No, we'll go this way. Turn it, 360, it unlocks a shackle. And as you see, these shackles are solid brass. Some are made out of steel, some are made out of solid brass. I'm noticing now that some of the faces are came out, coming out in steel as well. And uh, the backs are, are brass. We actually uh, get these manufactured in Tasmania. And there's a person there that actually does these by hand. Sitting there with his hammer and his thing. So it's one of the few padlocks that are actually still made in Australia. And it's one of the few padlocks that are actually still made by hand. So that makes them extremely rare. Now a lot of people uh, buy these for props, they buy them for uh, love locks, they buy them for um, wine, wine, um, wine cellars and things like that, that where you want a kind of an authentic type of lock. Um, some people use them as props or shop things, shop displays, it's completely up to you. We've even sold them to one guy who was putting them on a horse and carriage. So if you do want more than one, we can get them uh, made and the guy can actually make them key to like or key to differ, completely up to you. But keep in mind, because they are handmade, that it will take an extra couple of weeks to actually order them. Okay, so this one here that we're looking at, this is the uh, JP254. And I'll give you a couple of sizes on it. So that right there is 65 mil. And from top to bottom, you're looking about 90 mil. All right, so there's that one there out of the way. And I know what you're thinking, that one was a little bit big for your liking. No troubles, we have a smaller one. This here being the JP124, and once again, it's got the, this one here has got the roots on the back. If, we, if you're after three or four of them and you want smooth back, we can organize it. If not, they either come with, with rivets or without rivets, depending on which model you make. And you can see that there's quite a lot of imperfections in the shackle and things like this. I'll zoom right in so you can see what I'm talking about. Reason being is because, once again, they are handmade. They're like the original old school way that things are, are made. And um, see those imperfections just in the shackle? That's pretty much, um, how do you say, part of the character of the lock. If you want something that's mass produced on a machine, this is not it. Um, they make awesome locks if you're gonna do a love lock. We also do have the machinery to be able to engrave it as well. It is an additional cost, but if you've got something special and you're looking for a special memento or something, such as a love lock for a special occasion, this might be the type of thing that, you know, you would like. Uh, once again, it is a four lever lock. They're not easy to pick. They can be lock picked, but these four lever keys in this old fashioned style make it difficult because your regular locksmith's not going to have the tools if they come up to it. Your regular locksmith might be able to open it, but they're not, definitely not going to have the tools to suit an old-fashioned four-lever lock like this that hasn't been used in many, many years. So uh, here we go. We'll just turn this one as well. I'm going to zoom, zoom you out. And know that one is not damaged. They take a lot more beating than that. These things have been around for a long time. Turn the key, 360, it opens up turn it back and it's locked. I'll give you some width, just on the bodies we're looking about 55. If we were to go top to bottom we're looking about 80. Uh, the clearance on the padlock in the middle section you're looking about 20 mil. Let's just go back over this one so you can check it. Uh, 65 mil, top to bottom 90 mil, clearance in the shackles section 20 mil and of course you want to know how big that shackle is. 11 point, or let's say uh, yeah, 11.7 mil and this one here 8.5 mil you could say. Okay, so that's looking over the Jackson, uh, this one here, the Jackson uh, 254, and then we have the Jackson um, 124. All right, I know what you're thinking. You want to see more, and I've got more. So here we go here. A nice little Jackson. This one is the 152, and the body comes in at about 40 mil. Top to bottom comes in about mm, 60, 63 mil, and clearance on the shackle probably about... 15 mil. Thickness of the shackle, you got about 6.2, you got about 5.3 when you measure it that way to that way. Once again, operation on this one. This one will most likely is just going to be a simple two lever one, but still serves the purpose exactly the same. Put that key in, turn it, unlocks the padlock. Exactly the same design they've been doing for all these hundreds of years. These ones are coming with rivets, but once again, special order, we can special order without rivets. They do make a very nice padlock. If you do a love padlock, you can um, simply have the have the names written across the front. And what you do is you lock it on somewhere special, grab the keys, and you chuck them away. If not, they make great props or, um, you know, shop displays, whatever you want. And that's one of the reasons why we still sell them, because these type of, you know, 
cool brass old-fashioned locks you know you just don't see them anymore a lot of people have them on ebay and they're selling them for all these hundreds of dollars and things but you know they're it's just you're buying an old padlock these ones are actually brand new and we like to support australian manufacturers and that's basically why we get them um, made up when they are made up and we're quite happy to sell them look they are more expensive than a generic padlock i i get it but you are kind of getting something more special than a generic padlock uh, the workmanship that goes into them the molds the jigs the parts um, they're just not available anywhere else you can buy cheap chinese uh, knockoffs but they generally don't have the same type of key these are the proper real deal originally uh, there was a, a contract where i think this manufacturer is making them for the state rail and all the rail um, lines would have these padlocks on them and if you're lucky you probably will still, still still see a few of them clipped on a few rail yards or along those chain wire fences around um, some of the access for the for the train lines so that's that's them there that's the range we have them in stock and um, if you are wanting more than just one you can get them key to like but be patient if you do want one that is a special uh, special um, you know token or something and you want some something engraved on it send us an email we'll, we'll send you back a price and um, we can take it from there the keys as well we can um, if you get them key to like you get two keys per lock if you um, want them all different that's the way they come standard where you get one lock one set of keys and that's the way they work if you like these locks and you've got any comments leave it down in the description and thanks for watching